There are four main areas in wavetable. The oscillator area to generate sound, the filter area to filter that sound, the modulation area to give movement to your sound, the global section to change things like voices and general volume. There are three oscillators in wavetable, oscillator one, oscillator two, and sub. These are the wavetables category, and here are the specific wavetables. This is a wavetable. And with this slider, you can choose a specific waveform because an oscillator will play a specific waveform to generate sound. As you can see, there are hundreds of wavetables, and within a single wavetable, there are up to hundreds of waveforms to choose from. So with one oscillator alone, you already have thousands of sounds, and by adding the oscillators together, filters and modulation, you quickly have infinite possibilities. I went through the four main basic waveforms, which you can hear in almost any synths. The sine, the triangle, the sawtooth, and the square. The sine is more focused, while the saw and square have more upper frequencies and therefore more energy. Sine waves are great for sub bass sounds, kicks, mellow synths. Saw waves are great for leads and epic EDM chords, for example. This sound is made with two oscillators. The second oscillator is adding character and frequencies to my sound. The sub oscillator easily adds sub and bass frequencies to your sound to make it more fat and round. However, there are no rules in sound design. And here, you can make it play in higher octaves and use it as an extra mid layer too. Unlike the two main oscillators, you can't choose its wavetable as it's already loaded in. When the tone button is at 0%, you'll have a sine wave and at 100% it sounds like a sawtooth and brings upper harmonics. Adding and creating sounds with several oscillators is called additive synthesis. There are two filters which you can activate by clicking here. A filter will remove frequencies or add frequencies to create a new sound and give it some character. This is called subtractive synthesis. A high pass filter will let the high pass and cut the lows. Low pass filter lets the low pass and cuts the highs. You can also add character and distortion to your sound with the different filter modes available. They were made by Cytomic which makes high quality VST based on analog machines. With the amp envelope, you can control the amplitude of your sound or how it will play over time. I'm moving this filter by hand to create some movement to my sound. What if I could have an invisible hand to move it automatically? Well, you can with envelopes and LFOs. Choose an LFO shape and go in the matrix. Find the knob you last touched and link it to the LFO.
Let's hear how it sounds with different shapes and speed rate. You can also create movement with an envelope. Let's hear how the poly sounds versus the mono. So the poly allows you to play several notes at the same time. Then when you go in unison, you're able to spread those notes in the stereo spectrum, as you can see and hear. There are still many functions I haven't mentioned. So feel free to try things for yourself. You can check the manual or the info on the sidebox, which is always very useful. You can also use the synth in full screen. I didn't do it in this tutorial because it can be intimidating. But now that you're familiar with this synth, it's actually very practical when using it. The best way to learn is to just open it up, play with all the buttons and hear how it all sounds. In the next tutorial, I will show you how classics synths sounds like plug bass and chords are done and you can also download the full project file in the description box below peace